Hey everybody, it's Mike again. We're back with part two. Mike, AKA that reseller guy, here with the second half of this Jersey haul. If you didn't, need, if you didn't do it before, hit that subscribe button, like button, maybe throw a comment down there, let me know which one of these jerseys is your favorite. Maybe you know the value of some of these a little better than I do and you can tell me, hey, this one's gonna sell for 50, this one's gonna sell for 100, let me know. Let's get right into it. One of the greatest receivers of all time, Randy Moss, Vikings jersey. Uh, this one is a starter brand. This one is an old starter as well. I, I like finding these starter brands. That's what the tag looks like. And down at the bottom, and I think this is a newer version of it. It's the black tag. I think that means it's a little bit newer. So I'm guessing this isn't gonna be a huge value on this one. My guess is starting at 25, we could get up to the 40 range. Again, if you haven't figured out now, I'm wearing Cardinals, I'm wearing Diamondbacks at, I am in Arizona. So, this is Mark Grace. This is a great jersey. I, I say the word great a lot with some of these, but some of them are so nice. This is from the World Series year 2001. The Diamondbacks only World Series. This is a stitched jersey. This is one of the few times, marked 1996 at this thrift store. I paid the full $20 for this one. If you look out there, there's very few of these jerseys still around because I don't think many people are giving them up. I, I, I'm hoping for at least $80 on this one. 20 to 80 is a, a good return. It's possible I could hit 100, but we'll find out. All right. Here's kind of just an, I don't buy that many of these, but I picked this one up. I, I think I got it for five bucks. It's like an, uh, NASCAR, just a racing pit crew shirt. It's not like a fire resistant one. It's sort of, it's basically like a polo with a little, little zip right here. It's kind of got some, some cool stuff on here. I mean, if you look on the back, it's, I mean, it's petty racing. So that alone is good. And it's the, the NAS, NASCAR Nextel Cup series. So kind of a nice one. Uh, I think this is an easy 25, 30 bucks. Okay. Now first, I'm just gonna hold this up and see who the first person in the comments can tell me what is wrong with this shirt. Why did I buy this one? It's just a regular t-shirt. It is new, you can see the stickers on it. Super Bowl champions, 19 and 0, New England Patriots. I'm not gonna comment about it. I'm just gonna let you know. I paid $4.98 at the store that staples their price tags on there. Somebody in the comments, tell me what's unique about this shirt. You can find comps out there, I'm gonna get 40 to 50 dollars for this t-shirt tell me why all right Steelers more Super Bowl stuff this one is from Super Bowl XLIII Pittsburgh Steelers James Harrison this jersey honestly it looks like it just came off the rack there is nothing wrong with this jersey $12.99 tag, which means I paid about $10. Uh, these gotta be going for $40 and up. Another hockey jersey. This one made it out to Arizona from St. Cloud State. Got their logos on the side. Looks like a Can Canucks logo, sort of. But St. Cloud State. This, they play in the WCHA, so minor league jersey. And it's made by, oh, this is Dangle, like the, the one of my first videos. So, hey, I got two Dangle jerseys. Blank on the back. But I can't imagine that there's too many St. Saint Cloud State jerseys out there. They got an M in the middle. Is that for Mustangs or what's their, what's their mascot? Let me know. All right, next one. Arizona Sting. This is a lacrosse jersey. There, there was at one point, a, I guess, a, like a pro or semi-pro lacrosse team out here in Arizona. Blank on the back. But these are nice jerseys. I mean, look, Reebok made them. These aren't just some cheesy thing. This is a U size, so it's not going to go for a whole lot. You know, if I can get $30 for it, I think that's going to be about, about max. All right. I like, again, here's one that I really like. Spud Webb. 
This jersey's a little faded. You can see as if I get it a little closer and it's got some goop right there. So I gotta wash it and do a little cleaning and I'm hoping this will clean up because this is a nice jersey. You got the Hardwood Classics with all the info down at the bottom, made by Adidas. Kind of cool. All right, more Cardinals, more Cardinals, more Coyotes. This one's a, a good retro one. This has got the old Kachina looking Coyotes logo on the front. Got a pet sneeze in the background. I'm not sure that sound made it in. I hope not. Look what they charge for this. Four dollars. It's blank on the back, but these are these are great jerseys. The U sizes don't bring as much. I mean, if I take this to my booth, honestly, I, I sell it for about 17 bucks. Online, they might push 30, but after all the fees and the listing, might as well sell it in my booth. Okay. Penny Hardaway, Phoenix Suns jersey. This is another youth size, but it's an old vintage champion, medium, you see right there. $5 price tag. Even though it's youth, these 1990s champion brand jerseys do really good. If you find the adult sizes, you can get some insane prices. But this one, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna get 25 to 30, somewhere in that range. All right, here's another another racing type car. This one isn't NASCAR or anything, but I just thought it was so cool. First off, it's Snap-on. If anybody knows Snap-on tools and stuff, everything is expensive from Snap-on. On the back, you got this crazy fireball looking guy. I'm sure this mascot guy's got a name. I'll, I'll Google it and find out. But this is a cool shirt. This one's nice. The price was $9 on this one. Again, with a coupon, I probably paid about $7. I'll be pushing for 40 bucks on this one. All right, we got more Arizona themed stuff. This is Arizona Rattlers, another Arena League team. You can see the logo right there on the collar. This is from Dukes. He was, I think, a defensive lineman. You don't usually see defensive linemen wearing number six, but in Arena League, they did some weird stuff. This one I did pay a little more than I would have liked to. It was marked 12.99, so I paid a little bit over 10. But if you can see, Put it up right there. It's autographed on there. So that's kind of cool. I mean, this jersey is really nice. Some kind of cool sleeves. It's not gonna be a huge money maker, but I could get 30 to $40 out of it. I think this is my favorite jersey that I picked up. San Diego Golds. This is another minor league hockey team. Obviously from San Diego. 03 on the back. I don't know if that's a particular player that it was made. I don't know if it was made for them, but you know, it does have a little stain right here, so I gotta wash it and get it out. I looked these up. These sell for $40 to $60. So I like the palm trees on the bottom. That's that's I think what makes this very unique. Alright, I'm starting to see the bottom. Alright, more Arizona stuff. Another satin jacket. This one's an adult size. It's a great one. Let me see what brand this was, because this was an odd, yeah. This is a DeLong brand jersey. It's marked $9.99. This is probably from the 80s, early 80s. I don't know if they'll, it could be from, not, I doubt it's from the 70s. You can usually tell by the logo. Sparky looks a little bit different in the 70s style. But an easy 40 to 50 bucks. All right, it's so summer here in Arizona, so you do not need this right now, but somebody will come uh, November and December. This is another starter brand. Right there, starter brand. Pullover hoodie with a huge, big Sparky logo on the back. The, these do well. It's got to have the Sparky. If it just says Arizona State, it's not as desirable. This will go for 50 to 70. While we're in that mode, I'll show you another one of these jackets, but I made a mistake on this one. Let's see if I pull the price tag off. First, first off it was $9.98. This is a great looking jacket by Reebok. I think it's newer because it is Reebok, although it's Reebok Pro Line. So I don't know exactly how old. It seems like it's in great, 
great condition. It's got these cool sleeves. The, the one thing that I found out once I started looking at it is it was missing like the zipper part. So I'm still gonna sell it. Obviously I gotta disclose that in my description that it's missing the zipper. So it's gonna take a hit on the price. Uh, so maybe 30 bucks? I'd like to get 40. All right, last few items. All right, we got the UMD Bulldogs, Unisota, University of Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. At least I'm pretty sure that's who it is. This is another one, this, the same brand that I said makes some like promotional jerseys. So it's not like a big name brand, but these college ones do really well. This one, as you can see, new with tags, pay $10 for it. But usually new with tags like this, $40 is easy. Um, possibly even 50, just depending on if there's any others out there. All right, I love this jersey. I, I don't know if it's worth a whole lot, but it looks like a vintage 70s, maybe early 80s, Honda motorcycle racing jersey. The tag in it is so small, Hard to even see what it says. Uh, I gotta do a lot of research on this one. Hopefully not too much, but uh, hopefully there's a couple of comments out there and the prices are really high. So we'll check it out and see what I can get for it. And uh, like I said, I paid, it's Mark 7, so I paid six-ish, and I'm, I'm hoping for $40 and up. All right, this isn't clothes, but it's something that you wear. This is a lacrosse goalies protective pad, so I believe it's youth size because that would not cover the belly. I paid, I think, four or five dollars for this. Comp show, 30 to 50, just depending on the, the size and, and the brand. It's got this hard front, a lot of Velcro on it. You can pull Velcro pads off, but this looks nice. Cross gear is all over the place in stores, and it's got some good resale value. You can find the right model numbers. All right, last two items. These are both sweatpants, but they're both Arizona State and somewhere on here. Oh, there it is. There's Sparky on the side. These are by Adidas. I think they're, they're both Adidas, but cool pants. I paid about five bucks a piece for these. I think they were marked six ninety nine, so about five fifty. They, they honestly, they, they look new. I mean, this this one still has the cord all tied up, but these will sell for twenty five to thirty bucks. All right, good. We got through that second half a little bit quicker. So again, got some cool stuff coming up. A lot of great content. A lot of things I think are going to help you make some money, help you grow your business, make make those sales. Um, so down below, hit comment, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching Mike, aka That Reseller Guy. See you next time, peace.